Hi guys, welcome back. It's Candace. Okay, so I thought we would work with some parts and pieces from the um, Summer's Bounty kit. So I got, I printed on the back of these, I, you know, with um, line stuff. If you don't have it, just glue on the back. I printed them on 65 pound paper. So get the um, the ones, these tags are on one page and this is on another page of your ephemera. And so what I did is I printed this one on 65 and then I printed another one on um, some 32 pound paper. And then I backed it, you know, I, I trimmed the top. I backed it on some book page just to make it a little sturdier. I guess we can get these out of the way so we can just work with the one. Duh. Um, and so I'm just going to trim around here because we're going to do like a little overlay pocket on our tag. So we're just going to trim around the edges of this part of the seed pack. Because I didn't want to cover up our butterfly because it's so pretty. But I wanted to be able to tuck some of this ephemera in here because we have so much ephemera. And so I just thought we would do a little overlay pocket on this tag. Alright, and then I'm just going to throw those in the trash can. And yes, I changed my sponge out. I know. Woohoo! Alright, let's just ink around here. I need to re-ink my, my pad. What's the point of changing your, your little foamy thing if you don't re-ink your pad? Oh, and I still need to ink around my my card or my tag I should say <laughs> yes yeah, so I don't know if you guys watched that um, flowers in the attic that has Heather Graham and I think it's Ellen Bernstein in there I mean it's an older thing but they on I think it's on Lifetime they've been doing the origins a four-part little mini series of how it all began so, I've been watching that, and John actually started watching it. So, you know, I told him, oh, I said, we got a new one tonight. He said, oh, that's the, the fourth and final one, huh? I'm like, yep. So, but he's never seen any of the other ones either. So, I guess we'll, he'll have to watch the next one, the actual, the first flowers in the attic. So, he'll understand where all this came from. Because, you know, when I started watching it, I was like, oh, now it makes sense. Okay, so we're going to glue here here and on the bottom so we're going to leave that open for our little tuck spot and then just glue it back on here down to the bottom and on the side oh, I know let me get my old paper towel I know, I don't see anybody else using old raggedy paper towels for their stuff, but trust, all my junk's always dry. But, you know, <laughs> I use it till you can't use it no more. Okay, so we have that. Now, oh, and I did, I cut a bunch of my stuff out, so we're all ready on some things that I was using. So, I got prepared. So, we're getting the round number 12, this second to the large size, because it comes in you know like all these different sizes so the second to the large one of those and then I pulled out this one that says grocery house Chicago grocery house so we're gonna put these in here so let's ink around here first oh I hope y'all having a good day I know everybody's doing Michelle's little kit, so I was trying to do something different than, you know, what Gail's doing and stuff, and, uh, cause, you know, I felt like I told Michelle, that I couldn't watch, I couldn't watch Gail's videos, because I didn't want to, you know, be inspired, someone tell me, oh, Gail did one just like that, no, 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 so when I'm done with my stuff, I'll go back and watch hers, I know, that's, that's sad, huh, but I've not watched them, I saw one, you know, I was watching, and I was like, oh, no, zoom, zoom by it. 
Okay, so now we're going to ink around our number 12. Okay, and then I'm going to glue this down here, kind of like where the bottom is here and to where we can trim on there. So we don't want to, and I'm going to hold it up to the light so I can kind of see my spot where not to. And then you got to make sure, I know you might get my head, <laughs> got to make sure that my line and my number is right. The first one I did, my, you know, I was doing it back here. I'm like, oh, wait, that's not, not too awful straight. But then I realized my number 12 isn't that awful straight either. So, all right. But I just thought it'd give a little bit more character down there. So, and then we'll trim this off. Oops, I know. I won't get my scissors all goopy, so I see a little bit of glue. So let me just take that off before I cut it. I know, picky picky, huh? Okay. And then I'll feel the edge on that, and then we'll ink around. There. And then I have, oops sitting over here I decided to do oops I sure did not pull out any more of the uh oh oh no don't stick no ah, crap you know sometimes they don't stick to your papers but by gosh it sticks to the to the glass mat just perfectly fine so now that I had to pull that off let me put just a little bit of glue on there just to be safe Y'all know I usually do that anyway. Okay, so. I know. I'm just trying to semi-get it in the middle. Alright, and then I'm going to have to go over there. Did I even put my regular hole? Oh, I've got it backwards. So I can't even find my regular hole punch because I put it in there backwards and I didn't see the size of the hole. All right, and then we'll put a little another one on the back, and then I got to go cut a little bit of my cream colored sorry silk because I sure did not bring it here. So hold on, I'll be right back. It's not far. I know it really isn't far. I was thinking how big I needed it. So it looks like maybe about six inches. Oop, got some, got some stragglers. Okay. Oh, I guess I could do that without my tweezers. This one's a lot thicker than my other one. You know, on your sorry silk, sometimes. It's thicker on one end, sometimes it's thinner. So we have that. Now we're just gonna stick this one in here and this little one in there. And there's that little quick and easy tag that we put a little tuck spot in. And then we got journaling on the back. So that will be ready for us when it comes time. All right, and then the next one, we're gonna play with this one. So I have that. Oh, I guess I need to put these in with my my other box. Okay, so we, we've got, we're going to use this, this tag, um, the larger of the Hershey Pharmacy ephemera. And let me make sure this, yep, and then this, the red one of that, and then... Where'd I put it? I know I'm over here digging. I've lost my little. There he is. Then the little, the little green um, hexagon tag. All right, so let's go ahead and do ink around here. I know I pre-cut everything just to save you some time of having to watch me cut it all out. So that way, it will seem a lot quicker. 
it is quick, you know. The hardest part is cutting out the stuff <laughs> and putting it together. And I know, and I left my, my corners square. I've gone rogue on this one. I've gone mad. I've gone mad. Okay, so we have that one. I love these berries. All right, and then we're just going to ink around this berry circle. This is the large cut circle one that she has. And then, I mean, you know, even if it's brand new, it still makes crumbs. I know you're supposed to put it on your table and do that do 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 stuff, but, you know, you waste so much ink. Well, at least I feel I do. And let's just go ahead. Let me put this up because I'm going to save these for something else we're going to do with them down the road. So you're not, you know, you're not going to lose it or not use it. We just didn't use it in that po that project. All right, so let me ink around here, front and back. Like I so said, these are on 65-pound paper. And if you, you know, just print them on regular paper, then back them with some of your coffee dye. Yeah, so earlier, you know, I'm up there um, hanging the dog ru the dog's rugs out on the porch up top. And I see Tootsie way over there, you know, underneath the rain tweet tree at the end of the driveway. Just a bucking and a kicking and everything. And I'm like, oh my God. First I thought she was being mean to Tootsie. But no, it's Fergie. Fergie is over there aggravating the mess out of her. And so I'm, I told her, you know, so I'm yelling at Fergie like a crazy woman. And uh, telling her, girl, when you get kicked and you get hurt... We're not taking to the doctor this time, but you know, John wasn't watching. He was gathering trash from the big trash bat bins down there and uh, yep, Fergie psh, all the way across the road. All right. So now I'm going to put this on here as a little tuck spot on here. So I just kind of eyeballed it, flipped it over. <coughs> And then took my pencil so I would know where I want to line it in and glue around. So I'm just going to put glue around here and down there. And then I'm going to flip it over when I put this back on here so I know where my picture is going to line up. And then just kind of, you know, double check, make sure, because you never know what happens. And if it's, you know, too far one way and you want it to move it a little bit more, which I am kind of moving a little more down. So you can tell my lines. And then we'll just go back and, whoops, make sure there's glue. Go back and we'll trim here. And then trim on this side. Oops, I didn't feel that getting very straight. And then, hello, get rid of all your scragglers. And then we'll do that. So now we have, this is our little tuck spot. So we're going to put our large Heiser, I guess Heiser Pharmacy tag in there. And then this one. And then this I'm going to glue just part of it on here, not here, just this little side. So we're going to put glue on half of it. And kind of look where I want it. I don't want to cover my flower up too much, but I just wanted some extra, a little extra something on there. So we have that. And then I've got some green sari silk. Let me see if this is enough to make. Oh, you know how they always sew it and you get an extra little clump together. But this might not even be enough to make my tag because I had folded it over. So I need to go trim another little spot of this. Hold on. That's, enough. That's back here. But I won't take as long, even though it is further. I'm coming, see? My scissors are back. Just got to wait for the body to get back. Okay, so we'll put that in our scrap. Because we had that big old chunk in the 
where they sew the pieces together. All right, so now sometimes I take get my iron and iron it out straight. That's if I you know really want to be picky, but we're just gonna put some fabric tack. Well, this is three and one on the top. And I'm just going to pull this out and kind of gently hold it because you know if you push too hard with the fabric tack then it bleeds through and then we'll kind of pull this out and fold it over back on the back and kind of gently touch it for a minute and then usually like if you hold this down with your you know your hand for a few minutes it helps flatten it out but like I said sometimes if I've got my iron on I'll just take some of my sari silk and I'll go back there and I'll gently press on it just so it opens it up a little bit if I'm gonna you know use them for for tabs and things okay and Oops, just kind of get that over a little bit more. All right, oh, I'm stuck. I'm glued to it. Hold on, all right. Go on with your death roll self. Yes, of course, the little girl goes outside, finds something dead today, rolls in it. So, oh my gosh. Oh, that was yesterday. Fer Fergie rolled in, was it yesterday before? I think it must have been yesterday. No, yeah. Because Friday we went to do Chick-fil-A on a long road trip. But, so that's that one. And, you know, there's still room for, I don't know, other little things. But this is what it looks like without. And then these are inside there. And you could even put another little label or something there. Who knows, we might do that when we get to our final page. And when we put it in with our book. Okay, so now we're going to play with this one. And on this one, you're going to use some of your ticket. So I just cut this one. I know I didn't cut this one all the way out, so you'll have to watch me cut this one. So I'm just trimming it down. And then, you know, if you want your corners rounded, then I just, with this size, um, you can just use your little hole punch for this one. Now on the, you know, on there's some, there's some other ones like the larger tickets and stuff. I just, you know, start getting, this is my 5 eighths punch. You put it in there and it just gives you not quite of, here we'll go around here. It doesn't give you quite as pointed um, edges, more round. So just depending on the size of your circle and what you're wanting. Okay, so let's ink around here to get it done. I know I need to get John to do me some colored line paper that's not quite as, you know, that much space in between. More like college ruled. <laughs> so I don't write that big. All right, so we have, oh, well, while, you, while we're inking, you know, let's ink around here. Oh, I got to find, you know what? I don't think I have my, my little butterfly. Oh, man, hold on, let me look, but I sure don't remember punching out butterflies. Let me see. Nope, I got everything but that butterfly. Oh, shoot. All right, well, hold on. I'm going to have to go uh, do a, a, a round circle butterfly reconnaissance. Um, but while we're at it, we're going to use this page, too. Um, but I'm looking to see, I think I used both of those butterflies, doggone it. Okay, so let me 
put you on hold, on pause for a minute, and go find this round butterfly, the small round butterfly page, and I will be right back. Doggone it. I thought I was all ready. Well, see, that's what happens when you think, huh? All right, I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. So this is the... Oh, and I left my, my glue open. Good grief. Hold on, let me make sure I don't have a problem. All right. <laughs> so this is the page that we're going to be using. This is where the other one, that grocery house that we used. So, But this is the butterfly we're going to use, and that's... um one and a quarter, one and one fourth of an inch punch, in case any of you want to know. So, oops, throwing my stuff all around. Let me find my one and a quarter inch punch. And then we'll Punch this out. I guess I should have left it on there so I have a little bit more to hold on to. Well, now we're just going to see Candace struggle with the hole punch. Alright, so I got my little butterfly. And then we need... Oh, I used this flower... This is on the little mini tags. Well, not mini, small tags. Okay, and then we'll just trim that off. See, I'm going to make you watch me um, cut some stuff out now. <laughs> and then I use this, this one right here. Oh, and you know, I kind of gave it a border. So let me, I know, let me cut it straight with this, and I'm going to put it in my, whoo, I had my finger underneath there. And then we will cut it on here so everybody hopefully has the same, oh, well, so much for that understatement, overstatement. We're close enough to some white border. All right. Better than I would have done with my scissors, I'm telling you. Okay. So now let's ink around here because this is going to be a little journal card. I got too much there. I've got to trim the side down. You know, I don't know. I thought I moved myself over a little bit, but I have not. There. Let me... I don't know. Oh, it comes a time. I know. I've heard it for a year now, huh? <laughs> to clean this mess up. Okay, so we have that inked. Oh, we have to ink around a little butterfly. Okay, and then ink around our flower tag. You can always jazz the back up by putting some stencils on there or something. So, what's on the back here? Lines? Well, let's see. I should still have my flower stencil over here from, well, you know, famous last words, huh? Oh, well, now I just lost my ink dauber. It rolled out of my hand. Oh, there it is. Hold on. We've got our little daisies. So... Let's just put some some daisies on here. Well, I'm not going to use that because it's brand smacking new. <clears throat> Excuse the reach. So we'll just come and put a little bit of flowers on the back of that one and on the back here just so it's not so, so naked. So it just has a little, and we're going to do these. We're going to do these at an angle. I know. We're going to really be different. And then maybe darken the top a little more. There. Now, 
what a little stencil will do for you. Okay, so, 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 so. All right, now, oh, and then I have some um, dark brown, dark brown, dark, dark green painter's paper. I know. And, well, that one's not quite, because I want it to, the side looks a little, yep, it's a little taller. Now, where did I put this tear ruler? Oh, not that side. Pay attention. Okay, we want this one. And then... There. Put this back in my, my little scrap paper bin. See, do I have enough room? Let me see if I can tear this just a just a hair. See if I can hold it good enough. Yep. Yeah, these these fat ones sure do work. All right, so let me just do a little inking around here, and then we're gonna glue. Our ticket on here. I know it's really getting time to refill my glue. Okay. I just needed, you know, to ground my back with something. Just because it was too close to this color. And now we're going to put this on here at an angle so we're only going to glue here and here because we're going to make a little tuck spot with it okay and just want to make sure I have enough room to put my butterfly on there so we're just putting them on here Put our butterfly on. Oops, timber. And I just wanted a little bit of the black to show underneath there. Okay. I know I can feel my my cow is starting not to be so firm. Next time. At Christmas, I'm going to have to pick up a couple of them to get me through the year if they have cute ones again. All right, so now I'm putting, I don't know why I'm sticking. Okay, there. I'm going to put this in here, and then this one, I have this, um, I don't know, the salvage edge, I guess, on your little fabric. And then so just kind of want to twist it and pull the edge so it has a little bit of fray. And then I know it would be quicker to use that three in one, but I got this here, so I just want to put a little a little dab of glue on there. And then we're gonna put a little on here just to help hold it. And it's just going to take a minute for it to kind of give before we staple it. And if you don't have a, woo, a tiny attacher stapler, just use your regular stapler. But since I have it, I'm going to use it. And since it's a small tag, I'm going to use it. But I am going to get rid of that extra. All right, let's have enough time to give it some hold. And then I just go ahead and use my little little needle nose pliers and I always just come in on my staples and just squish them down on the back just so they're flatter so they don't catch on anything. 
and then oh I know I'm taking this little personality away but this needs some some more personality up top <laughs> and then we're gonna put that in the back and that's our little journal card with a little tuck spot so we made that one this one and this one using all of the items from the summer's bounty I know that one's gonna gonna fight me and then like I said when we go to put them into the journals that they're gonna go into you know I might put some sequins on there I might put another label on there I don't know yet but this is a you know the base for two tags and a, and a journal card so let's just come up here so you can see them a little better there's that one there's this one that we just did and there's the first one that we did and like I said if you want to put another little little label here I was just trying not to cover up the the fruit and stuff but like this one I think that might be cute and you know we might do that before it's all said and done with all right guys I hope you enjoyed this um thanks for watching thanks for sharing some of your time with me um I hope these were quick and easy and cute and simple and you'll give it a try and make them for your uh summer's bounty journal or any kind of garden or bird or butterfly I mean they just go with everything that's you know out in out in the garden so we will see you on the next video. Thanks for your love. Thanks for your support. Thanks for um, all of my subscribers. If you like it, please subscribe. Um, I will see you on the next video. Lots of kisses, lots of love. Y'all have a great day and a blessed day. Bye, guys.